Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you and your loved ones are safe, healthy, and doing well during this time. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a new glass bead from the Art Oblivion. This is the Art Oblivion's first solo bead and it is so magical and inspiring. I also have a blog post on this bead, which I go into a little bit more detail on the inspiration behind it. So if you'd like to see that, I'll link it down below in my description bar. Anyway, without further ado, make sure to grab a cup of tea and let's get started. Roar is the name of the Art of Oblivion's first solo glass bead. This bead is a beautiful Murano glass that features sterling silver. And the meaning of this bead is all about standing up for yourself, standing up for others, and sharing your thoughts, sharing who you are, and what you have to say. And I just love that message and concept of this bead. It features beautiful blue colors, including that teal, which I actually love seeing because it reminds me of the Art Oblivion's logo. You also see some midnight blue, some deeper blue colors, and a little bit of kind of a skyy blue as well, and touches of silver that kind of sparkle throughout the bead. And I just love the little magical note that the silver touches add to it. On the side, it is so magical. It really catches the light and you can just kind of see the light bouncing off of it. I filmed this in natural light so you guys can really get a really good authentic look at what it looks like in person and it is just so magical. You can really see the inspiration of the ocean being used in this bead just because it does look kind of like the ocean waves kind of mixing and moving and the different colors of the water, which I think is really cool. This is a universal bead, meaning that it has a threadless core and will fit on a variety of different bracelet types and styles. It also on the sides, it features the Art Oblivion's logo and hallmarks for the sterling silver. This bead is now available for pre-order and it will officially launch on July 10th. There are 111 made currently. When it comes to styling with the Roar bead, I have quite a few different ideas just because it is so magical. At first glance, I wanted to pair it with In Search and In Awe. I just think the inspirations and meanings behind all three of these beads work really well together and they also pair beautifully. So I have it kind of shown as more of a kind of a centerpiece bead with this quick little design. But what I am envisioning with this is pairing a couple more bluey glass beads that I have in my collection with this. I just think the bright blues and pops of different blues will look really beautiful. So I have to get around to doing that and create it. I'd love to know though how you guys would style the Roar bead. What would you design it with? I'd love to know. Please let me know down below. Anyway, you guys, that is it for this video. A huge thank you to this community and the Art of Oblivion for sending me this bead to review. I would not get these opportunities without you guys. So a huge thank you. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.